today we are going to discuss with introduction to angle modulation we know modulation modulation means we change any one of the property of carrier either amplitude either frequency or phase according to instantaneous value of modulating signal when we change amplitude of the carrier signal by keeping constant frequency and phase it is called as amplitude modulation in short it is written as am when we change frequency of the carrier by keeping amplitude and phase constant it is called as frequency modulation fm and when we change phase of the carrier by keeping constant amplitude and frequency it is called as phase modulation pm we know amplitude is always a vertical movement and frequency and phase are always horizontal movement means whenever there is some horizontal movement means there is a change of frequency as well as there is change of phase means fm and pm are both dependent on each other that's why modulation is classified into two types one is amplitude and second is angle modulation and in angle modulation there are two types one is called as frequency modulation and second is called as phase modulation advantage over fam are noise reduction improved system fidelity and more efficient use of power disadvantage over am are wider bandwidth requirement utilization of more complex circuits used extensively for commercial radio broadcasting television sound transmission cellular radio microwave and satellite communication systems once again i repeat angle modulation is divided into frequency modulation and phase modulation because both are horizontal movement both are dependent on each other so that's why they are into the one category which is called as angle modulation the general equation of the angle modulated wave is m of t is equal with vc cos of omega c t plus theta of t equation number 1 where m of t is angle modulated wave vc is peak carrier amplitude omega c is carrier radian frequency and theta t is instantaneous phase deviation just i mentioned theta t is a phase deviation it is a function of modulating signal and modulating signal is given by vm cos of omega mt see equation number 2 so theta t is a function of vm cos of omega mt when theta t will be changed when there is a change of modulating signal so theta t will be f that is a function of vm cos of omega mt equation number 2 where omega m is modulating signal radian frequency and vm is the peak amplitude of the modulating signal the difference between fm and pm lies in which property of the carriers carrier is directly varied by the modulating signal and which property is indirectly varied fm results when the frequency of the carrier is varied directly by the modulating signal and pm results when the phase of the carrier is varied directly by the modulating signal just i mentioned fm is frequency of the carrier is change and pm means phase of the carrier is change now fm variation of the frequency of the modulating signal with constant amplitude frequency variation is proportional to the amplitude of the modulating signal rate of variation equal to the frequency of the modulating signal and second pm is variation of the phase of the modulating signal with constant amplitude phase variation is directly proportional to the amplitude of the modulating signal and rate of variation equal to the frequency of the modulating signal now angle modulation representation in frequency and time domain look at the diagram on the right hand side the x axis is the frequency middle one is written as fc fc is called as carrier or center frequency and there is a sine wave where vm plus vm is the positive peak maximum positive peak and minus vm is maximum 
negative peak. Now, V m of t is given by the formula V m sin of omega m t and omega m t can be written as 2 pi f m t. See the diagram, whenever f c is there, when the frequency is f c, then modulating signal is not going to change, it is 0. And as modulating signal is goes on changing, when it is a positive peak, the frequency f c is increases and becomes f c plus delta f. Delta f is called as change in frequency or frequency deviation. So, positive peak we are getting highest frequency f c plus delta f and lowest peak minus v m we are getting f c minus delta f. So, in short it is swings between plus delta f and minus delta f. So, it is called as total carrier swing in f m is 2 into delta f. On positive half cycle, it is a plus delta f and negative side, it is a minus delta f. So, total carrier swing will be 2 into delta f. This is the angle modulation representation in frequency and time domain.